What's up, pipe smokers? Out in the shop on this Thursday morning. I was gonna wait till tomorrow, Friday. I turned the big 5-0. <laughs> but uh, I have to work tomorrow. Today's a uh, state holiday, West Virginia State Day. So it's a holiday paid off. And uh, since I have to work tomorrow, I figure I might as well just uh, crack my favorite tin most likely of all time today while I'm off. And uh, yes, unfortunately, it is discontinued, but I can't help still liking it. And uh, if I uh, smoke it sparingly, I most likely have enough to last me the rest of my life. But I still have to uh, watch. And uh, without further ado, <laughs> McClellan, I can't talk this morning, McClellan 40th Anniversary. Uh, it is without a doubt most likely my favorite tobacco of all time. Uh, just for me, that's just me, you know, talking my opinions. Uh, it blows everything else out of the water. And it's still relatively fresh. You know, this is 2017. It's not that old, and it is fantastic. It is without a doubt my favorite Virginia blend, my favorite everything blend. <clears throat> uh... I need bifocals. I can't get in to see the doctor until uh, late August, so I can't even look. I have to look without my glasses now. A lot of time, I have to hold it back far. It's been an honor and a privilege for 40 years to bring you some of the finest Virginia grown. We use the highest grades of leaf strip tobaccos because of their rich flavors, small batch, strictly quality control. Uh, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but just look at that goodness. <clears throat> See if you can smell it along with me. Wait for it. Wait. Oh my my. Smell a vision. I don't even really know how to describe the smell of this stuff. It just smells like the most amazing fruity red ripe fruits stewed. Just an awesome, awesome smoke. Now I will let this sit a few minutes, but I am not promising you how long. I'll be back. All right, we're back. Smoking it out of my cob out here in the workshop. I smoke this stuff in mirrors, briars, corn cobs, it don't matter. It's good. Now some of you probably get mad because I'm doing a review and talking about one I love so much and it's discontinued. I can't help that. I'm going to do reviews of everything I have when I open them in my cellar, whether they're rare, discontinued, everyday, dime store blends, it doesn't matter. It's what I like. You might not like it. A lot of you don't even like Virginia. But, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. If you like Virginia's, <clears throat> and you're ever at a show, or on eBay, or Pipe Stud, or anywhere where you buy some, to, some rare vintage tobaccos, and you like Virginia's, pay the extra premium just once and splurge and, and uh, spoil yourself. It's worth it. <laughs> at least for me it is. I was like the rest of you. Well, I, I stock up and, and I have a, a nice seller, but when this stuff came out, I mean, I bought enough, but I didn't buy enough. <laughs> and now when it's gone, it's gone, and you wish it wasn't gone. And unfortunately, my 
at me myself, I had to pay a premium for some of the ones that I acquired extra to last me throughout the years, which sucks. But if you really want something bad enough, I mean, I know everybody doesn't have the money to go out and spend 50 plus dollars on a tin of tobacco. But if you do and you want to splurge, trust me, try it. I mean, it's not like a cigar and you're going to get one smoke out of this thing. I mean, it's going to last you a while. Put it in a mason jar and go back to it every couple months. It'll last you a little while anyway. Sweet, but yet spicy. Smooth as silk. Easy to keep lit. No tongue bite. You just can't say enough about this stuff in my opinion. <clears throat> uh, a lot of people have said they compared it to Christmas cheer. Which, I mean, it's their own opinion, but to me, it stands alone. And after I crack the tin and let it sit for actually a couple weeks, it even just gets better. Out of the tin, I mean, it's smokable. It's not too dry, but you want to let it sit a while anyway. There you have it. It's, I believe it's my first 10 in my uh, ratings that I've actually done. It's not, certainly it's not my last 10. I have several others. I'm just getting to them as I go. I've been mostly on a Virginia and, and Virginia Perique kick the last few months, if you haven't noticed. But I certainly love my Englishes, and uh, that I tell you, Burley sucks. Burley sucks. <laughs> A lot of people love Burleys. But hope everybody has a good weekend. Like I said I have to work tomorrow on my birthday, and then uh, my wife is having me a big uh, party for the big 5-0 Saturday at a park. She rented a shelter out and got lots of family and friends coming for that. So maybe I'll post some pictures of that in my next vid. And in my next vid also, I'm going to talk about why I quit chasing bourbon. A lot of people have asked me why I don't make bourbon videos anymore and uh, film videos in my man cave. I do sometimes on occasion, but I'm going to talk about bourbons and what I think about them and what's going on. Other than that, I want to try to keep this under five minutes, and I see I didn't succeed in that. rainy as hell here. We had probably four inches of rain yesterday. Flooding all over the place, flash flooding. I'm actually surprised I didn't get called out to work today. <laughs> McClellan's 40th. If you can get your hands on it, try it. Talk to you boys and girls later.